Welcome back. In this video, we are going to finish two things. The first one is the shadow below the image and also adding the username right here. Now, the reason I have left the shadow for a specific video because it is not as easy as, as you may think. Okay, but we are going to use some tools that will help us. First of all, I want you to open your web browser and search for React Native Shadow Generator. React Native Shadow Generator. Click right here on this one right here. Basically, this is a, a tool that will uh, give us a, a really nice user interface like this one. And we can drag and drop this uh, slider. And basically, that will generate this code for us where we need to type it in order for us to go ahead and use some uh, to apply some shadow. Basically, you need to type all of these in order for you to get a shadow. So th this is not as easy as to do it with web. Okay, so what I will do, I will copy all of these values. And I will go back to my image because the user image where I want to apply my shadow. You will see a surprise in a second. I will base it right here, give it a save, take a look. We have this error right here. In the shadow, first of all, did, like it's not been applied. If we take a look right here, that says Theop, a prop to apply invalid props, style key, evaluation, whatever supplied to image. Basically, bad object right here. We cannot apply shadows to images. So even if I disable this dude, okay, we can we can see the shadow is not being applied. You cannot apply shadow for images, even if you would like uh, give it a refresh or a reload it, whatever, it will not be applied. Why is that? Because you cannot apply shadow on an image directly in React Native. This is a problem had to do with shadow, okay? So what we, you know, if you want to get the, the same result that I have right here, you need to uh, surround your image with a rubber. So here, uh, I will surround my image, I will say view, and what I will do, I will say, I will give it a style object, so style equal to styles.user image rubber, user image rubber, like so. And we are gonna style, style it, okay? So here before my user image, I will say user image rubber, okay? And I, I will uh, baste my shadow over here. So if we go ahead and base the shadow values, give it a save, take a look, here we have a problem. First of all, the image now has been surrounded by this div. So this div should take the positioning properties. Okay, first of all, I need to remove the shadow from over here so we don't get confused. So I need, first of all, any, uh, let's say, any property that has to do um, with the um, with aligning or positioning the or changing the position of the image should be on the parent because the user image rubber now surround the image. So let me show you what I will take the position align items, uh, sorry, align self and the position and this value, I will take it out and base it over here on the parent. Okay, and this is not done. If we take a look, this may fix the problem, and now we can see the shadow, but this is not enough. What you can do, if you if you want to follow the best practices, you need to cut the width and height, okay, and give it on the rubber itself. Why is that? Because I have told you, give it the position to be absolute, give it the bottom to be minus and the height divided by two. Okay, so that's why you need to give it the height as well right here. Give it a save, and now we have a problem. We can see our problem right here. Is the image, now the size got changed for the image, where very easily just give it a width and height to be 100% of its own parent, which has 200 by 200 for these two dimensions. So I will say the width 100 and the height to be 100, okay? Give it a save, take a look now, our code following the very best practices and also we have solved the problem of shadow. Let's take a recap and don't worry, I'm gonna explain everything. First, shadow cannot be applied directly on an image. You have to surround your image with a rubber in order for you to apply shadow. By the way, what we have did, we have surrounded our image with a rubber. 
and we have called the style on it to be user image robber. If we take a look on the user image robber, we have, let me uh, order these. So we have a width and height for it to be 200 by 200 because this, this is what our design says. Then we have given the position to be absolute and we have pushed it from the bottom to be minus 100, which is half of the height just to get this effect okay and by the way we have pushed it from the bottom re relevant to its own parent okay we have given it a line self to be center so we got it in the center we have given it all of these properties for the shadow and we have used a tool for generating all of these we have given it the user image here just to be border radius 100 and width and height to be from its own Barrett 100. So this is the perfect way of creating some sort of light like that. And by the way, if you if you don't see your shadow clearly, let me just use a really high value so we can prove that you have a shadow. Let's say all of it. I will copy these values. Going back, I will replace it over here. Okay, just to prove that we have a shadow. Give it a safe take a look. We have it right here, a really dark shadow that works. For the users that they are using Windows, maybe you are using uh, an Android emulator. Maybe it will not work on the Android emulator, but I highly encourage you to test, to test it on an Android device. So that then at that point it will work. So some emulator does not support the shadow. We have a lot of issues with the shadow and we'll, I will teach you like all the tips and tricks that you need to uh, apply any shadow that you want. Now let's go ahead and uh, work on the name below our here we have the content overlay here we have our header background we need to go outside of this because all of these they are related to this part right here which is the this part the image the user image and the header background I will go below this and I will say I want a text component okay and I will just copy this text right here I have no idea like what is the text inside but I will just use it okay I will give it a style to be styles dot let's say username okay go right here all the way to the bottom to say username and font size of course need to be a lot bigger than what we have for example 30 the font weight should be bold and align self or um, here we have two options either to let's say give it a line self to be center or we have to say text align center if the width is 100 percent so text align center okay take a look on it we have it right here now uh, we have to say margin top remember that we have bold down this image to be 100 minus 100 so if you say uh, margin top to be 100 it will be below the image directly because the, we have pulled the image minus 100 remember that so if you say margin top 100 it will be below the image directly okay so i will say like 130 probably just to give myself some space or that's too much let's make it okay like so and of course we could decrease it but uh, the font size or do anything else but i feel happy with it so again in this video you have just put together the username as well as the shadow maybe the shadow was a bit uh, tricky with all this refactoring but i think i have made everything crystal clear okay so i hope you guys feel like happy with it and you don't feel boring if you have any questions please let me know maybe we are going to refactor it to re reusable component but that should be not now in the next video. Thanks. Thank you, my friends, so much for watching. See you in another one.